Okay, so I'm going to go through just a couple things here. Um, interesting search because Christy said this was her least favorite uh, search to do with Jasper. So, of course, they've got the whole off-leash thing where he's doing a little Benny Hill comedy routine, having her chase after him. I have a feeling that uh, he probably would have clicked over to work uh, and stayed off-leash, but she didn't want to go through the hassle of that, so she clipped him back on. He works just fine on leash, so uh, now she's got him back on, and we're going to see here he's going to turn back, and he really almost gets to source, he almost gets to source the hide that's up in the top corner of that, of that crate, and uh, as soon as he gets there, it leads him to that high pallet hide, and several times he comes back to that crate. He's always drawn to the high pallet. So he gets out here, and that high pallet hides way up there, and that odor's probably drifting and traveling away to some distance, and he shows pretty clearly where he catches it on the air and starts working back, and, and he does this again out in front of the pallets, more where Christie's standing, he catches it on the air. I think this is where he's going to go back and, and check that crate again. And he gets right to that crate. Now he's catching it on the air again out there. So he really caught the odor on this pallet hide pretty strongly and was pretty determined. I mean, he's, he's looking up, checking with her. He's now gone on to all three sides, and then he gives his sit. So that's that's about as much as you could ever hope for from your dog when it's when it's way out of reach like that. Some dogs won't give quite as clear of a of an indication. Um, they just won't indicate unless they can really get to it or very close to it. Uh, but most dogs will give you the same information. Like I checked there, I checked there, I checked there. You know they'll they'll uh, make it fairly clear for you. But uh, ultimately, you have to make the call. But with Jasper, he dropped that butt to the ground, and you know pretty well that, that he's found it. So that was a good job on that one. Um, but unfortunately, he didn't separate the uh, crate, the wood crate hide, um, out well enough for her to believe that there was a second one in that area. So, So in her mind, I think she's kind of ruled it out a bit even though she goes back there she doesn't go back there with an eye to stop and make him work she's hoping he's gonna strongly commit to something which is perfectly fine strategy it just doesn't work out that way so he nails this one yeah. no problem and in these in these aisles between the uh, shrink wrapped pallets of stuff, which I think are like solar panel parts, module stuff, uh, the two of them have a little bit of trouble figuring out who's going first, who's going second. Um, you know, he's a lab. He likes to spin and change direction and, and you know, be out front, be behind. And so in this confined space, it's a little trickier. You can actually... You can almost hear her. Yes. And she calls her alert just before she called alert, which it's on on this side of the aisle, about halfway up um, in the plastic wrap on the pallet. Just before she called alert, you could almost hear her talking to him, trying to get him moving the right way and get him, you know, to a place where the two of them aren't going to be tripping each other up. Um, that works really well for them. They've got a little dialogue going. It's not a command to him. It just keeps him moving towards an area where he can actually work without without uh, him being focused on getting tripped up by her. So that worked out really well for them. <clears throat> so other than the uh, wood wood crate, the shipping crate that they miss way back against the wall, far, 
far in the corner over there uh, is the other hide that they miss. And that one, I think, maybe he just never drew her there and she just never went that deep. You can't see it back there. Or maybe he got close, she took him there, and he just decided he was going to snap into the aisle and get that one in the aisle. So now they really nicely clear that other aisle. Those two aisles should be completely done. They've been down and back on those, and there was, he really showed showed nothing, uh, unlike the, the shipping crate. So they should be completely done, but for whatever reason tough tough search area to keep your head on straight you know they go back and spend a little time in there just like spending time time in this area they're at now should probably be completely done with that one um that he he's just done a really nice job of of uh sourcing that stuff she follows him here which is great but really he's just still glued onto this hide So tough, tough search here. I know uh, Christy kind of said, you know, it was difficult to remember where you'd been and where you hadn't been and, and what you hadn't searched. And so that's a little bit of the reason for doubling back over these areas. But like I mentioned before, uh, this would be a search in half the time. Um if they didn't double back over some of these areas. Because he pretty quickly works all these problems out. So here's the last time that they really try to search here. Now, that right there, in combination with all the things that have happened here, I know I know she, she notices that. You know, he's practically staring at it, just like he stared at the one he couldn't get to here. So, this is where the strategy, like like at the forklift moat area, um, should maybe become second nature. Hey, I know I've found one over here that's close. I also see interest that's not related to that one. I mean, he, he's been sniffing in areas... Like, he got into this corner and hooked around that way earlier um, very sharply. He's been working this pretty carefully uh, several times. You can be fairly certain that, you know, there's something else he's working other than just some blowing odor from another hide. So this is a, a case where maybe you should tighten up on the leash a little, maybe you should slow him down a little um, and try to try to work that area a little more and what she does do is give him another pass but he still got that ultra loose leash which normally is really great and he's just allowed to zip zip right past and zip over to that other one that he already checked so still a great performance clapping well deserved um you know this is just one of those cases of of a team that's got so many things going for them and now it's just you know you take the fine tooth comb and figure out those little things that you can you can look at and and try to adjust and improve on and that's a good place to be in so another great search